Hi, Fire Signs. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your week ahead. This is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This is kind of like who's coming towards you, or what's coming up, or what to expect. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the 24th through the 31st. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we got for Fire Signs? What's going to be happening? What's happening? Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This may or may not be for you. We'll see what happens. This is for somebody who needs to hear it the most. That's the way the readings go. Okay. What do we got for fire signs? Have no fear. Have no fear, fire signs. Oh. Somebody is making a choice, making a decision. You're at that crossroads and you need to choose. Right off the bat, you are going to be making a decision. There's fear with the moon. There is. You know, you can choose to think negative. You can choose to think positive. It's up to you. It's your choice. It's always a choice. You always have the choice. So you're definitely going to be faced with a choice about whether you're going to... I mean, this could be a sudden choice presented to you. You may be faced with making a sudden choice. Now keep in mind, that this hasn't happened yet. Mm. You know, you may be dealing with a Taurus... We could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with anybody else. You could be taking on this energy. Um, maybe you, some of you have to choose whether you want to, you know, create something new or stay where you're at. Now, this is about discipline. This is being practical. This is being grounded. Let's get the rest of the cards before we go any further. So you're, some of you are dealing with an earth sign. Okay? Definitely dealing with an earth sign. Um, I feel like you guys are needing to go within. You're needing to go within. Time of solitude, a time of reflection about your abundance, about who you are. I think you guys have been through some pain. You have, because the Empress gives birth to something new after dealing with pain. So I feel like you guys have been through a painful situation. You're about to receive some sort of blessing because she gives birth to a blessing. Okay. So we have a blessing coming in after a time of introspection. And you're going to have to choose... Do you want to keep focusing on... You always got to see what's mirroring each other. We talk about this a lot. You are going to have to choose. Do you want to keep focusing on the pain? Do you want to keep focusing on the hurt? Do you want to keep focusing on the loss? Do you want to keep grieving for what you want? You know, Or do you want to understand and accept that you have a better opportunity? And that is exactly what this is. It's your choice. You can choose to stay stuck in the past or stuck on something or stuck on an old way stuck on, in the pain you can it's your choice or you can choose to you know be happy you can choose to um create something new we have a rebirth here but you have to be grounded you have to get real with yourself you got to be practical and you got to be disciplined. She is holding the Ace of Pentacles, which is about manifestation. Your thoughts, they truly do become things. If you think negative, that's what you call in. If you think positive, that's what you call in. 
somebody needs to change their thinking or they're going within to change their thinking. It's up to you. You can choose to focus on pain or you can choose to focus on love. You can choose to focus on the old or you can choose to focus on the new. The choice is yours. This week you are going to be presented with a choice. Are you ready? Are you ready? Have you held on to the pain long enough? Are you ready to release it and get a blessing? The choice is yours. So I feel like we have somebody here that is probably starting to see the light. It's like, if you look at this, it's coming out of darkness. You see the path is leading to the light. It goes from dark to light. Somebody is seeing the light and they're heading towards the light. So I feel like you, the dark period that you have been through is just about over. But you've got to keep walking on that path. And you can't go back. You can't keep on going back. You have to keep walking on that path. Don't look back is what I'm trying to say. It's like something is waiting for you. I just got the goosebumps at the end of that path. A blessing. A new life. A rebirth. Could be a mother. Um... I don't know where this comes from. These are both the Earth Mother. Um, could be um, a potential mother. You know, could be the mother of your children. Could be um, a wife ending at, at the end of that path. If you don't look back. Could be just stability. Could be something positive. Definitely a gift. If you keep walking, you are going to receive a gift. Absolutely. could just be the gift of enlightenment, but I think it's a really, I think it's something you can touch. I think it's something that you can hold on to. I don't think it's just enlightenment. Yes, I think you're going through a period of healing. I think that you've been healing and you've been enlightened. But at the end of this road, at the end of this path, because this is a path, this is a path. At the end of this path, you are absolutely going to receive a gift. But the fact is, if you keep focusing on the pain and the hurt and the loss, you know, that's your choice. Oh my gosh. The Six of Wands making progress. You are making progress. Don't give up. People recognize that you're me you are being recognized. People are recognizing you. People see that you are regaining your confidence. Follow your own passions. You guys are headed towards a victory. You are. Keep going. Starting over. Oh my God. So yeah, you guys are starting over. You're starting from scratch. But you have to allow it. Don't fight it. Please don't fight it. Don't let fear get in the way. Remember to stay focused. You're the boss of your life. Not anybody else. You are the boss. Own it. Some of you are coming together with an earth sign. Maybe you're letting go of a water sign. You guys are in the process of taking back control of your life. That's what's happening. It's like restoring control. Breaking free from the chains, the bonds, the, the, the bondage. Okay? You're breaking free. You're breaking those chains. It all starts with letting go of ego and facing your fears to break free of something that doesn't serve you. And this could just be 
self-deception, self-sabotage. This could be a toxic partnership. This could be um, addictions. This is something that is unhealthy for you. This is breaking free from un something that is unhealthy for you, period. Taking back your power, taking back your control. So it looks to me like this week, and this is breaking free as well. You guys are breaking free. You guys are breaking free. The Ten of Wands, you're breaking free from that toxic connection it looks to me like you guys are really standing in your power this week and you're making progress and you are headed to a much better place and i feel as though you're in the you're in you're in control you are absolutely in control this week i feel like like i said have did i what did, what did i say at the beginning i let my readings i said have no fear have no fear that is have no fear you are in control. You guys are about to start over on a new path that leads you down a road. It's almost a road I, you know, of peace. It's like you find peace when you get to the end. I really feel as though you guys are going to be receiving something really good with some but from somebody that has earth energy okay you're definitely you were receiving a gift from somebody and this could be i don't know it could be a partnership it could be um what is it what is it what is it what are you receiving something big you are something solid, something stable, something secure. You're receiving something, and it's it's beautiful. It's like it's such a good offer, whatever it is. Now she's 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 got like she's like offering the world a new beginning. If you see the world, the world is a new beginning. It's a new life. It is a new life. It's it's it's. If you think about the world card. The world is a major completion in your life. This You are being offered a new beginning here. Whether, I don't know what this is. What the hell is this? Oh, I can't make this shit up. I'm sorry. I don't like to say that all the time, but it's the truth. Oh, my God. Right to the heart. There goes the hand to the heart. I can't make this shit up, and we all know that. Oh, my God. You are being offered the world... I hope you guys saw that, saw that the deck was out. I can't t see on the camera. It's over there, but unbelievable. So you guys are, are, this is unbelievable. It really is. You guys are about to, this is a new beginning. This is a, a one chapter, one phase of your life is over. The worst is over. The worst is over. You guys are about to have a major new beginning. You've learned a big lesson. One phase, one chapter, S something painful in your life is over. It is. And I think it's because you guys are in charge now. It's like you, you're in charge and you know you're in charge. You guys are traveling to a new destination. And whatever this new destination is, it's going to bring you towards success. And that is no joke. You are headed towards victory and success. You're headed towards towards a whole new life. And that is no joke. Um, from the first card to the last card, one journey in your life is, one phase of your life is over. And you are about to, to begin a new one. You are about to embark on a whole new journey, okay? Uh, it's major, okay? It is major. I think your time of introspection, your time of healing, your time of, of um, perhaps emotional withdrawal, you know, and carrying these burdens is over. I see the burdens being dropped. And I think it's because you guys are making that choice. that serves you the best. 
I think you're making the right choice to move on from something, whatever it is. I really feel like you guys are focused. You're in control. You are in completely complete control. I see it's almost like a healing. A healing energy is going on. I see... A beautiful, successful completion of a difficult chapter in your life. And yes, it was beautiful because you learned a lesson from it. And I see you guys starting a whole new chapter. Oh my God, look at the majors. It's crazy. It is crazy. I feel like you guys are surrendering. I surrender. I'm not going to try to funny because that's the opposite of control isn't it it is the opposite of control surrendering this is like surrendering to new beginnings no want no longer wanting to control by surrendering you actually are in control you're mastering your emotions but this is not mastering your emotions. This is angry. Somebody has been stuck. Somebody has been stuck in a period of trying to control. And when you try, it's hard. When you try to control things, that's fighting the universe. And these majors are universe. All these majors, that's the universe at work. So I feel like what we have here is letting go of control and surrendering actually puts you back in control. Do you know what I'm trying to say? By surrendering, it gives you back the power. It gives you back the ability to choose a new path. It gives you the ability to allow whatever is meant to be to be. Universe is, is here for sure. The universe, this is universe, this universally driven completion here in New Beginning. There absolutely is. The world is a universe card, okay? So it's like the universe is in control. And I feel like because you have surrendered, they have now given you back your control. You know, like that devil reverse. It's like all of a sudden, now you're back in control because you have surrendered to the universe. Which is interesting. I know it's, it's complex. Anyhow, I feel like because you have surrendered your control, now they are giving you a gift which gives you back your power. You know what I mean? It's like... When you choose to surrender, they give you a gift. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So the, the fact that you have probably hit rock bottom, some of you have hit rock bottom. You know, you've had that dark night of the soul moment. That's what this looks like to me. I think it's over. I think the worst is over. And I think because you are surrendering, you have surrendered, they're bringing you something that is more beautiful than you ever imagined. That's what it looks like to me. So I think you have a fresh new start because you are allowing. 
It looks like you're allowing, you're letting go of the need to control. I feel like there's been a period of trying to control, and I know this is all about control, and it's letting go of control and letting the universe drive. It's like you're, you're letting the universe drive, and the universe is driving. The universe is driving. So, and I think that, that, that they are driving you right towards a <laughs> brand new solid opportunity, okay? You're headed towards something uh, very, very abundant. You're headed towards something uh, beautiful. You're headed towards a uh, major 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 new chapter in your life and it's and it's happening now because you're trusting in the divine you're believing and you're allowing okay so get ready get ready get ready i feel like you guys are starting over you're starting over um And you're, it looks like you're not bringing the baggage with you. The fool doesn't bring the baggage. He doesn't. He leaves the baggage behind. It's like you're, you're starting over without very much. You know, you're not bringing all that shit with you. That That's staying. So, yeah, you guys are about to embark on a beautiful new... journey and that's what I see a blessing is coming a blessing you are about to be blessed you are the 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 empress gives birth to a miracle you know you think about giving birth to a baby that's what she does when you hold that baby in your hands it is a miracle for the majority anyway So somebody is about to receive a true blessing for letting go of control. And when they do that, it's kind of funny because it's like all of a sudden they, they give you the control that, you know, they give you back control with that devil reversed. And this one right here, it's like now you're back in control. And, and it's, it's, it's a gift from the universe. The universe is giving you back that control. Not only are they giving you back control, they're giving you a true gift, something that you can act. This is a gift. I mean, she had, this is, it's funny. She's, it's a gift. You are receiving a gift. Something that you can actually hold on to. Something that... It's funny. It's so easy for me to do this. It's so funny. Anyway, you guys are um, receiving a true, a true, a true gift from somebody. So you, if you are the, you know, you could be receiving an, an offer from somebody that you never saw coming. I don't know who this reading is for, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. You are about to embark on a whole new journey, and, it, and the past isn't coming with you. It isn't. And I think it's because you surrender. You surrender to the divine. The divine, divine sees your surrender, and they, 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 they just give it to you. They just give you what, you've, what you need. I think you're going to be getting what you need. Let's get a couple of these fire signs. Um, oh, my God. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. You are. You're headed towards a love connection, believe it or not. This person could end up being, um, I think, a soulmate. This is, I mean, anyway. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You know how we started this reading out with thinking positive or negative? The choice is yours. You manifest what you think. If you think positive, if you watch this reading and you're like, hell no, that's not for me, then you are right. Absolutely. If you think this reading isn't for you, then it absolutely is not for you. That's your thought. 
That's what you told the universe. You told the universe you don't want this true love. You told the universe you don't want this new beginning. You told the universe you're not surrendering. You told the universe you're not ready. You gotta be careful. If you think positive, you say, yes, this is my reading. You manifest it. If you say, yes, this is what's happening, you call it in. Anyhow, for those of you that have faith, for those of you that have surrendered, for those of you that are thinking positive, for those of you that are making the right decision to stop focusing on the pain and surrender to whatever is, you have a new beginning here and it is a beautiful one, an absolutely beautiful one. So be prepared, be prepared for a surprise, okay? And it happens when the time is right, okay? Um, good luck.